Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean, which will be on episodes 25 and 26, but um, this will also be called Part 3 or Third Core of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean Part 3, which will be on episodes 1 and 2, whichever one that's fitting for you. Now, new opening. Pretty cool, and the ending is still the same. Nothing much I can really say, you know. I mean, that's all I am gonna say. But if anything else, let's talk about 25 and 26. Well, let's start with 25, okay? So let's start off with that. We had to it, Hermes, Jolene, and little baseball guy are pretty much trying to make their way to a certain location where Pucci is heading, you know? Because that is Jolene's goal. And as for the disc of, like, um, her father, that might be, um, possibly sent to Jotaro himself. But we'll have to see. We haven't seen the scene explicitly, but we'll find out later, you know? Whatever, I don't care. Anyways... We have to it, Anastasia and the weather report decide to make their escape to maybe help out Jolene or kill Father Pucci, considering that this guy is just trouble, you know? And we get to know that weather report actually has the same star as Jolene and that little green baby which is absorbed into like Pucci or the baby went into Father Pucci himself. You guys get the point. I mean like um, if you guys been watching the anime and you finished it, you know you guys get the idea. Like I said, um, Anastasia, everyone pretty much makes their escape from the prison to maybe help each other out or hunt down Father Pucci, you know? Because he's pretty much the antagonist and he's trying to, like, um, reach a, do a certain, like, um, ritual that will get him to heaven as Dio will, will like, um, put the steps into it, you know? Pucci is not feeling so great right now because it, maybe it's because the power that's inside him or he's not controlling it correctly, we don't know. But one thing's for certain is that he's really not in a good shape right now. He will later on try to like make a walk to the location and to a hospital eventually because a taxi broke down. He will later on run into a criminal which apparently held him hostage and Pucci will later on give him some kind of power that maybe he unknowingly or just knowingly decided to give it to him because... I don't know. He's like maybe one of the chosen ones. I don't know. It 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 it, it sometimes works randomly when it, when Pucci's father is revealed, you know, or shown in this episode. It's really confusing. All I can really tell you right now is that like Anastasia and Weather Report will later on hitch on a ride after helping out an old man. However, they run into some weird trouble or something, you know. All I can really tell you is that. Certain co certain children's book, maybe comic book characters come out of nowhere when they were riding onto the old man's truck, you know? For example, Pinocchio, the se Snow White, and the Seven Dwarfs. You guys get the point. If you watch the episode, you'll get the idea. These little, like, uh, crazed up cartoon characters are showing up everywhere around them. And later on, they realize they're, like, in some kind of different world whatsoever, you know? There are times where Anastasia, you know, in this episode is actually freaking out and trying to figure out what's going on. They later on end up crashing the car, or the old man ends up crashing the car, and Anastasia, being being very impatient, ends up killing the freaking, like, um, what you may call it, the Pinocchio guy. And we had to it that um, Weather Report and Anastasia are pretty much in some kind of weird world right now, and the episode ends up in 25, like, where, like, um, what you may call it, um, that Anastasia is seeing his another body and Weather Report riding in a bus, Bust, you know? So that's what episode 25 is. All I can really tell you in simple simplicity without a lot of detail and nothing confusing whatsoever. Jolene, Hermes, and little baseball guy, along with Weather Report and Anastasia, separate ways by the way, because they escape at different times, decide to make their escape from prison and go to a certain location or to help each other out, you know? However, Weather Report and Anastasia run into some trouble after Pucci gives this criminal that held him hostage some kind of power that will allow him to, like, um, do something crazy, which is later on revealed in the next episode. There's no point in me, like, um, saying a lot of things here and there, but you guys get the point. But... Going on to episode 26, this is episode 26 by the way, we had to it that Anastasia goes on a crazy adventure in the Stan world that's happening right now because he becomes a wolf from the story called the Wolf and the Seven Baby Goats or whatever, I don't know how many numbers, sorry, forgive me. I never heard that story at all when I was a kid, forgive me, I must be either sleeping in the rock by then or I just didn't care or not pay attention at all. 
But all I know is he is pretty much getting attacked by that some crazy mother freaking mother goat trying to cut him open and kill him, you know? I'm like, holy crud, you know what's going on here? Then there's some crazy news going out say, hey man, we got some crazy news about some comic books going out of control. Batman, Joker, Superman, you name it. What whatever they said in this damn episode. I don't give a f whatever. As for um weather report. He ends up having some trouble with the artist Van Gogh. Van Gogh, you know, I mean like on the famous art painter, you know, that kind of thing. Which apparently we find out some of the stuff here and there. We all know who Van Gogh is a bit. If you don't know him, just look him up. He's he's pretty crazy, but... Well, I, I don't think crazy, but he's very well known to a lot of people. And like I said, the criminal that like... um. That he took Pucci hostage. It was actually using his power. To the point of like making it go out of crazy control you know. So he decided to dedicate himself to protect Pucci. Because he gave him this power. So hey you know what. Why don't you do whatever you want with this. Because you are chosen you know. You are Dio's children. Yada 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 yada. I'm like what the hell man. Whatever. But as the episode continues on. Like I said the criminal who, who took Pucci hostage. Was given this power by Pucci. Knowingly or unknowingly, I don't know. It's never been really confirmed with me, but I guess I guess Pucci gave it to him, you know, and tell him to cause some trouble, cause some chaos as you like, you know. And we have to it that Weather Report and Anastasia run into some trouble. Anastasia is getting his gut cut open of stones putting into him. As for Weather Report, he got shot one time because Van Gogh committed that I'm gonna take my own life kind of thing. With the gunshot kind of thing, except the one sh when we know about the story of Van Gogh, one bullet was enough to take away his life, and then a second shot came in. But somehow, Weather Report managed to use Van Gogh's like um freaking like um artistic skills to the point where he created himself as a hero and make things go back to normal or reality. And every and after that, the guy who was in charge of that. Standability, what's it called again? Um, Bohemian Ecstatic whatsoever? Will later on be dealt a big re non-recoverable, you know, kind of thing. In other words, he was defeated. He, I think he's dead. I don't know who the freaking hell knows, but I don't care because he's not very important, honestly. We all know that. I mean, almost every stand user that we've been fighting and facing against, they are not very that important just because... They are sent by Father Pucci. He's like, okay, go ahead and take care of this guy, you know. I mean, like, um, that's how it is, you know. But later on, the when we come, when it comes to, like, um, the final minutes of, like, um, episode 26, Jolene decides to pay a visit to her ex-boyfriend, Romario, or Romeo, whatever the f his name is, you know. I don't know how they pronounce it. I'm going to call him Blondie Romeo and end up threatening him not to call the cops and so forth. And I just need some help for one last time, you know. So how about it, you know. Eventually, he decides to give her one $1,000 in cash and give him give her the keys to something so she could actually escape. And he ends up going like, hey, man, hey, I feel so bad for what I've done. I actually want to like make it up to you kind of thing. And Jolene's like, yeah, 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 whatever, just... Hammy, you got some cash on you. Can I borrow a vehicle at least? And the guy decides to give it to her. He ends up making a call, but Jolene actually expected this and he asked Hermes for help and planted a stick in his tongue and later on make a duplicate. We get to know that um, Romeo ends up calling the cops but actually lied about where Jolene went and that she's not here, you know? And that she flew to Mexico whatsoever. I'm thinking in my mind, well, even though I guess he was... A guy who ditched his girlfriend, which is Jolene, which is really sad here and there. Um, I guess he did feel bad and wanted to make amends in a certain way. Knowing that, like, um, Jolene's innocent, you know, that kind of thing. And I get that. However, even though, like, they did hear everything of what, like, um, what, um, freaking, like, um, he did, you know. Jolene, on the other hand, decides to, like, pull off the sticker anyway and... All of a sudden, he ends up making a very terrible, like, um, what you may call it, um, a pain, a painful, like, um, tongue, tongue, tongue attack after they, like, um, after, like, um, taking off the sticker, you know, and Romeo can only scream, scream in agony anyway, decides to take it off because, like, um, 
just in case here and there. And R Romeo ends up screaming and says, okay, let's get the hell out of here. And they decide to take the, take a helicopter to let them get their location since it'll only take a few hours. Which is very, very nice, you know, not too bad. So, yeah, pretty cool here and there. Anyways, um, yeah, pretty much all I can really say in episodes 25 and 26, you know, Anastasia and Weather Report ends up having a comic book world adventure that almost got them killed, you know, but they managed to pull through after, like, um, Weather Report used Van Gogh's artistic skills to make a hero ability of himself, you know, and make it all go back to normal as for the user. Like I said, I don't care. That guy might be dead, but it's never really confirmed unless, well, I guess it says he's beyond recovery, but unless they say he's confirmed dead or alive, I guess beyond recovery is putting it dead or he's just out of commission or whatever the freaking <laughs> status he's in, whatever. But, um, as for um, the next two episodes, I'll be sure to do a recap on that for the, for maybe 27, 28 tomorrow, depending on the situation. I don't know, but I'm going to do a couple episodes, maybe two to three at most, like, um, per day, because that's just how I'm going to roll. I know I'd rather just, ra I know it would be easy if I could just watch a bunch and then just talk about it towards the, the moment I watch through it, but I'd rather give some details maybe for the funs and times of how I do JoJo back then, you know, because I really wish this, I, I wish part six was like weekly, but it is what it is when it comes to Netflix, and I don't know how they managed to get their hands on it, but whatever. <laughs> so until then, people, I'll see you guys later. I'm out for zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, all right? Peace out. Bye-bye.